Oh, that one has been busted up and beaten down in the back. See there? She even has a hole. She has a hole. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here in the Villages, Florida for some estate sales. So we're going to see what we can find today. All right, let's head on into this estate sale and see what we can find here in the Villages, Florida. Oh, here's a nice vase. Linux, $10 for that one. This one also looks like Linux, and it is for that one. There's this blue one here. That says Royal Gallery, $10. They've got a rug, two chairs here. Some items up there. Looks like dishes, ramekins up there, some compote, footed compotes. Nice. There's art there for $150. They have this dish here, this covered dish. There's some little candies in it. I don't see a price on this one. But these little glass candies are always fun. Little blue ones. I've sold those before. Here's a Longa Burger basket for 20. That one there. Let's go this direction. The living room's over here. That's a cool chair set. 300 on this set here. Could use some cushions. They have a really pretty Florida room over here as well with the sunroom and everything. That's nice. All the windows in here. That's a nice ladder shelf. That one says it's sold. Here's an art glass dish for $2. That's pretty nice. This is known as fused glass, which means the glass has been fused with another piece of glass, in this case clear. So it's dimensional, you can feel it. It's not in the glass. I mean, it's it's in it, it's attached, but it's you can feel it. So that's great. You got these little cordials. These are glass, etched as well. They have little etched flowers on them and they're small. $14 There's a wine open, lots of fun. $10, $10, $3. I don't actually drink wine. Oh, there's a little parrot. For no reason other than I've tried it in the past and it's always hurt my stomach. Like, it's painful. So I don't have any enjoyment out of it, unfortunately. Oh, there's little birds. Tile, those are lovely, $2. I like that. This is a neat table though, 100. I like that table. Oh boy, they got like a Christmas station set up over here with Kirkland Signature. Those are each $5. And then the little angels. Now these look like they're made by Homeco or I want to say maybe a Nesco. Let's see, like Taiwan. Let's, let's see if I'm right at all. Ah, Homeco and Taiwan. <laughs> boy, I'm good. Oh, that one has been busted up and beaten down in the back. See there? She even has a hole. She has a hole. Yeah, all three of them. Oh, the little wine jewelry things. They're for Christmas time. They have the little jingle balls on there. Celine. Celine. The power of love, if you ask me. She's a good one. Mariah and Marvin Gaye. Oh my. Tile trivet there for $2. Really pretty green lawn. My goodness. I wish my lawn was that green. I need to find somebody to do it, to make all the weeds go away and improve my life. I do like this rug though, it's really pretty. It's nice and just light and airy and it has the palm trees on it. It's a really pretty light pink color and it has the light green mixed in well. It's great, it has that sort of 80s, 90, early 90s vibe to it. And I also like the tile floor here as well. Nice big couch, sofa. This is a cool fruit basket. I like what they did with this, with the handle. It's very neat. And they have 30 on this one here with all the fruit. That might be monkey pod wood. Let's check out the kitchen over here. They have stems. The set got $8 on the large set here and then $4 um, on the Pilsner glasses. There's two of those there. You also have these, $7 a set. They look like, they kind of look like Sunday cups. I'm not sure if those are also considered pilsner might be they have the paneled sides or fluted sides 
<laughs> nice optics on there. I really like this set here. You got the set of all of them for $8. And these are crystal. You can see the clarity in those. They're marked France on the bottom of them. Very pretty. I like that. I like that, that pattern. Little bowl here. That's nice. Here's an Italian piece that has a chip on the lid. It's a little sugar dish covered. Darutha. So that's made in Italy. Right, let's check out the garage. This is out here in the garage. I'm surprised. Look at this. It's $3. It is very heavy though. So to ship that would be obnoxious, honestly. But that is beautiful. That Jolly Rancher orange. Has a lot of calcification on the inside of it here and it's always a question of whether or not that will clean up because sometimes it is damaged and it's not going to clean up that's known as sick glass it's an industry term it just denotes the fact that it's damaged and it's not just something that you can clean off but three dollars i don't know it's heavy so i'm not really going to take a chance on it for resale that is there's also this block this uh this art glass here. This is known as slag glass. And so you have this sun catcher. Some people call them stained glass just out of, well, I think habit, stained glass. But stained glass is a completely different term involving a, a film over the glass and not so much colorant going through the glass. So this isn't stained, it's colored slag glass. And it's a sun catcher. Now there's some useful stuff in the laundry room. Well, that's not that useful. It's half used. 50 cents. Here's a front door. Front door. Somebody's coming in the front door, I think. Unstoppables. Dawn for a dollar. Oh, there's hardly any left. Look. Look at the bottom. That's so sad. Some towels. Some scrubby w doos there. Some gloves. More Kleenex. So we've got this lovely piece here. These are known as low balls, $3 on that swirly guy here. A low ball is for good for scotch, things like that, as opposed to a high ball, or this is just a tumbler really, but they have all of the salad bowls. That's great. And some other useful things for the kitchen. Kitchen front door. I just realized I don't usually go into the closets or even film them because they're usually filled with clothes. But this one has lots of storage containers, $5 each on those large ones, $3. And then those like smaller ones are a dollar each, three, two. Pretty useful really, if you're looking for places to put things. Some bags and purses, wrapping paper. There's a wallet up here. Money, 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 money. Oh no, that's not money. There's other fabrics in there. And the bathroom. The toilet. Here's the bedroom. They have 275 on this chair. It says Lexington chair and it swivels too. That's good in a chair. You want a chair that swivels. Otherwise, you just have to stare at the same direction. It gets awfully boring if you're just looking at one wall. Oh, the mattress is free apparently because there's a stain. Neat. My goodness, so somebody paid 2500 for the entire set. This is $10 here, this art. That's pretty. I was trying to discern if it was um, a watercolor or a print. And it looks like a print, perhaps, to me. Yeah, it looks like a print. Cool clock. It's up near the entrance. 250 for this wall clock. It says Commonwealth on it. That's nice. I like the color of that wood. Well, this room is where they store all their chairs. It's really awesome. It's good to have a dedicated room in your house just to hold the chairs, especially if you're doing some sort of a performance or if you put them in a circle, it's more of like one of those types of activities where everybody shares something of themselves. So that's nice. Oh, and the tall ceilings invokes openness and it just promotes bringing out the best of yourself in a room like this. So yeah, I would highly encourage every house to have a room full of chairs. That's the takeaway of this video. What's this room? Oh. Pillows. 
there's like a little pea on there, like like a vegetable pea. Um, and there's these fabrics. Hmm. Pillow, frog. Okay, didn't find too much here at this sale, so we're gonna check out another estate sale here in the villages, and hopefully we do better. All right, let's head on into this next estate sale here. Well, right off the bat, we have these figurines of the birds for 35. Parakeet by Andrea. So that's Andrea by Sad Sadiq. But these are pretty good. I've sold some pieces by them. Better quality. They have the $35 one here. Very nice. Similar to Linux in a way. Linux figurines are nice because they have lots of detail and, and great just intricacies in them. $40 for this piece here. That's great. There's some artwork down here. There's 30 for that one and 50 for that one. And there's also some Royal Copley planters. $10 for this one with the flower. The Royal Copley is always nice because it has this great like little airbrush quality to it. Here's a red, red wing cornucopia planter. It's marked on the bottom, red wing. And then this one here might be hull pottery. They just have vintage written on it. Muriel something. Oh, that's who gave it to me. Abington. Abingdon? Abingdon. Nice little blue, periwinkle blue cornucopia planter. Oh, are those flamingos? They kind of look like flamingo. You know, I collect flamingos, but they've got this crackle finish on it, and it's 75. I think it's wood. I think it's a wood situation. I got the heads there. That's nice. Oh, sure. Another notation. Like everything in yeah. here has like... That's a good, I mean, I should honestly start doing it myself. 2014. That's neat. Is it I think wood? It's wood? Yeah. If you want me to pull something, it's either... just let me know. Okay, sure. Thanks. And there's these large ones here, 15 and 15, and then there's that picture there for 12. Let's look this direction. Got a pair of little wall plaques. Boy, there's like all these notes. This pink vase from something, something, nine, 99 or, I don't know. It's cool, it's this heavy pottery. Let's go over here to the kitchen. The kitchen, there's some deer for $40. They look to be brass. I wonder if those are actually the same deer that were at the other, another sale that I went to. And I don't remember if it was the same company. If it was the same company, then it would make sense that it might be the same deer and they could just be bringing them around. Ooh, this pewter box, 16, that's nice. And then you got this little pewter guy here. Now, is that a flamingo? It says vintage for 30. I don't know, it, it could be vintage. It, it looks like newer to me though. I've seen a lot of old brass and this one is more lightweight and almost has, like a finish of gold on it rather than actually being brass. It's coming across to me as more of like a, like a pot metal or a cheaper metal and then like a gold film over it because it is definitely more lightweight than any sort of like brass material that I've, I've, I've seen. But $30, oh, it's a peacock. Oh, okay, that makes it easy for me. I don't collect peacocks. So we'll just stick that right back. Little bird there, nice bird too there. 65 for this pheasant. I thought the head was removable at first, but no, it's just interesting. Cool. And they got this table, $4.75 for that one. Let's check out the kitchen over here. They got this little guy for 20, the elephant for 20. Huh. The birds. This one from 1996, Christmas of 96 with the love birds on there. They are in the bedroom. They have the cedar box for $6. It's a lane cedar box. If I'm not mistaken, I almost think that these were given away whenever you bought like a cedar chest or other piece of furniture. It says Wolcott Furniture Store. Like I guess, like just like a freebie. That would make sense to me. That's what I've heard. Let me know in the comments if that's true or not because actually I don't know what the exact circumstance was for those. And I'd like to know. Little, that's pretty. I like those colors together. Moose? 
moves. And there's other fabrics over here, some towels. It's a king mattress. Pillowcases are over here. A mattress. I don't know about, and I, I'm not into any of those. There's this rug here for $8. And then there's some other rugs. Those are $10 each. It's pretty nice. I like this one too. That one's 30 with a fringe on it. And there's another one over there. There are a couple Afghans here. This one is eight. This one's eight, eight, eight. I just noticed the huge tapestry on the wall. That's pretty cool as well. They have $50 on that one. And it's these people. What are they doing? They're having a party or something. There's some lambs. They're picking flowers. He's playing a little instrument. That's nice. They're fishing over there. Let's check out the garage over here. They've got, oh, this is nice too. This Moroccan bowl for 18. That's really pretty. We'll go out to the garage next, I think. Oh, they've got a bean pot for 16. This is a brown drip bean pot. And I was gonna say, I think it's whole, H-U-L-L, -L, because they did a lot of the brown drip, but not all of it. So in this case, I don't know. Bean pots are known for having like little short and stout handles on the sides like this. Flat lids very nicely. Here's a vintage Norataki platter for $9. Oh, I almost missed the Black Depression. This is $2. It's Black Depression glass. And uh, that's not bad. It's a little tidbit tray. I might actually get that. I haven't got anything here yet. But this is nice for Halloween or all kinds of things. Art deco, decor. That's a cute one. Not bad at all. Here's a metal basket, lightweight, for $3 right here. And they also have some of this red pottery, $14 for this one. Neat. I kind of like this one with the bird on it. That one's pretty. Ah, this one too. That reminds me of something by McCoy, doesn't it? Ah, <laughs> there we go. $9. They got music playing, so I don't know if we, how much we can do out here. Now, they've got all this baking ware and some utensils and a food processor, a steamer, Stanley tool. There's a ladder for $45. Oh, look at all these flags. Oh my gosh, that's one for every neighbor. $3? You could pass them out. Everybody has a flag. If you ever wanted to feel like Oprah, everybody gets a flag. Oh, look at these fun spoons. Those are some... How, what are these? Oh, Wendy's? There's a Wendy's spoon. How neat. Those are like... Are they, rest, are they all restaurants? I don't know why I'm suddenly looking at spoons. I don't know how I ended up in this part of my life. A bag of light bulbs. What is this? Oh, those are big things to fill pies and... No, no, wait, no, they're not. They're, I think they're, I think there's something to do with tools. They're not pie filling things. Dollar fifty for all those towels. Make good shop towels for sure. And they've got lots of screws and bolts and nuts. But I'm gonna check out my one item for two dollars. I think. This other room over here, I almost missed it. They've got planters here as well. Oh, that's whole pottery. That's pretty. I like the lines on that one. Three dollars. A little bit heavier. Ooh, they've got a wall pocket for four dollars. That's nice as well. This one is marked Made in Japan. You can see it incised right on the back of that pottery there. That's really great for that one. Little moose box musical. There's this deer here for eight. That looks to be... Mm, Resin. I thought it was wood at first, but it's resin. And then these other plates here. I like this one. The stoneware for four. Nancy did it. She wrote her name on the back of it. Nancy was proud of her plate. That's a nice looking deer. And there's some other ones that are printed. Oh, yes. A little dish. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. Seven for that one. That's nice. Oh, 
Oh, these are corn cob candles. They're not real corn cobs. That would be disastrous. These are wax. You can't really light a corn cob on fire. Well, you could one time, but this one is wax. $3 for the harvest candles. Hmm. Neat. Oh, well, that's a pretty picture. Some baskets there and a puzzle on the wall. It's a round one for $10. And what's great is you don't even have to put it together. It's already done. Pretty good. So I will wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.